Hello everyone, welcome to Pediatrics by Dr. Anand. A beautiful time and a beautiful platform where we discuss and meet and enjoy the journey of pediatrics and enjoy being amazing, enjoy being revising stuff in a very beautiful way. This class will be spoken in English and Hindi language and also at the same time the class will be exactly for how many minutes? 30 minutes. Why sir? Why only 30? Because in 30 minutes, let's put the strongest vibration, good vibes I want because I've just come back from gym and let's just finish the whole pediatrics from A to Z. Are you with me? Are you with me? Good. In the Unacademy Need PG platform, first of all, I would like to, yes, exactly. In the most important Unacademy Need PG platform, in the end, I'm going to share what you called uh, the slides basically where we're going to talk about the uh, uh, the various uh, what you called Unacademy, the plus and the iconic subscription we have. We're going to talk about that in the end of the slides. So now we're going to just start with the topic and in the end, I'm going to uh, uh, share regarding the an academy slides which is important for the you know slides. what you called that uh, uh, iconic subscription plus subscription and the crazy stuff which is important okay yes so let's start the beautiful topic today's topic of choice is nothing but GRD one of the very important topic hello Dr. Osama Sheikh hello Priya hello Vandit Panchal Swaraj and amazing people around me. So GRD is a very beautiful topic, gastroesophageal reflux disease. And for 30 minutes, let's discuss it amazingly. Before starting any amazing segment, we always have a motivating quote. And today's motivating quote is, aspire to inspire before we expire. So very cute and amazing quote, aspire to inspire before we expire. So you should be a source of inspiration you should be a source of motivation to your friends around you so that you can live better and your friends can live better with you and around you and without you so aspire to inspire before we expire okay let's start the class today's topic of choice is GRD so most importantly the first PG entrance question which is the most common which is the most common esophageal disorder in children which is the most common esophageal disorder esophagus ka disorder in children so where is my esophagus this is my esophagus this is my beautiful million dollar esophagus and this is the problem this is the most common esophageal disorder the answer is GRD. GRD is the most common esophageal esophagus ka disorder. Are you understanding? Are you with me everyone? Good vibes. Put a like button. Yes. Let's start. What is GRD? Gastroesophageal reflux disease. Let's 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 uh, talk it in a very common sense way. Don't stress yourself that you have to cram each line. No, it's just, it's a light topic. Gastroesophagus ka reflux, reflux, reflux disease, right? As GRD, what is that? Passing the gastric contents of the ESO, of the uh, stomach into the esophagus. Yes or no? That's what we do in the case of GRD. Yes or no? Passing the gastric contents, whatever the gastric contents are there in the stomach, they are going back into the esophagus. Esophagus, that is gastroesophageal reflux disease, right? Now, first question, my first question I would like to ask here, is GRD normal in children? or is it abnormal in children if a mother comes to me like a newborn baby you know comes to me and mother says whenever i feed him he little vomits out or a four year old you know uh, uh, has come with the mother or the father the father says when he it have something he kind of have little vomit or little kind of a you know vomiting out little bit of contents whatever we give him so is this thing normal or is this thing totally abnormal yes 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 priya osam and swaraj are very well right bro most importantly remember about 50 percent about 50 percent of healthy about 50 percent of healthy three to four months old infants regurgitate at least once per day about 50% of healthy 3 to 4 month old infants regurgitate at least once per day. So it's kind of, it can be normal, remember. Okay, it's a healthy topic. Can you please have a positive vibe here. Now, that's a good question. Who is at risk of developing GERD? Kin bacho mein dekha jata hai? Can anyone please tell me? Who is at risk of developing? Is it common in people who are very thin? Or is it common in people who are very obese? 
obeys yes or no so in which babies it is common yes osama sheik is answering so beautifully that in infant you see grd because the sphincter is kind of immature yeah you can say that bro definitely remember who is at risk yes people who eat momos like we have someone dr saman dr osama who are little heavy and fat so yes who is at risk of developing grd someone who is obese someone ha huh, very importantly yes any baby who has some esophageal disorder what is the problem seen in the picture it could be a nice image based question this is my food pipe this is my like this is the na nasal part and this is the oral part right so what is this abnormal connection here of course everyone knows about it esophageal atresia right esophageal ka abnormal narrowing and the most common is esophageal atresia is tracheoesophageal fistula yes or no who is at who is at risk of developing GERD someone who is having tetra, uh, tra, uh, tracheoesophageal fistula yes or no it's a very important tracheoesophageal fistula so whatever the baby will will take the mother's feed maybe he'll vomit out or maybe he will aspirate in the windpipe yes or no am i making sense to you yes or no yes tracheoesophageal fistula baby will he, he will have a he will feed he will vomit out he will feed he will vomit out why because there's a blind pouch this is the trachea this is the esophagus tracheo esophageal fistula abnormal connection so whatever the baby takes from the from the food pipe either he will vomit out or he will put in the lungs in the aspiration yes perfect so i'll repeat again who is at risk of developing esof uh, uh, what you call this problem of the gerd number one fat people number two with some congenital malformations like esophageal atresia or tracheoesophageal fistula number three yeah very nice very nice very nice someone who is premature as osama says when the baby is a preterm then naturally everything is immature the sphincter the reflexes and all those things yes definitely preterm babies are prone for nothing but GERD preterm is less than how many weeks Dr. Osama could you please tell me yes buddy you're very right oh, see that's see Osama is doing so such a good thing whatever points I'm talking to you know if you know any extra or any associated points share with us in the comment section Osama is already answering so beautifully exactly so preterm is less than how many weeks option are 35 36 37 38 so the answer is less than 37 weeks less than 37 weeker will be a preterm baby that's it and also yeah very nice question the people who are suffering from cystic fibrosis anyone who is suffering from cystic fibrosis can you please tell me any highlighter of cystic fibrosis i forgot i don't remember cystic fibrosis what is the hallmark anyone how will the patient come tell me fast fast osama Aage aajo. Panchal, Samir, this topic will be exactly for 30 minutes, okay? It's already 9.40, 20 minutes, I will shut down the topic, okay? Yes, so the baby, yes, exactly, Osama is right. Cystic fibrosis, the gene responsible is CFTR, nothing but cystic fibrosis transmembrane receptor gene. The hallmark of cystic fibrosis, yes, mother while kissing her child, mother while kissing her child found her child's skin salty tasting, yes or no, mother while kissing her child found her skin salty tasting, so beautiful, Panchal is see, everyone is answering very good actually, so yes, chromosome 7 is involved, very true yes there will be very thick secretions very important because this yeah exactly because the sodium chloride the sodium channels basically there's a problem with the sodium chloride port port or the channel so secretion gets stuck so that's that's why sodium is stuck outside here okay so salty tasting salty tasting skin but what is the hallmark i you told me all the points but what exactly swaraj is answering the hallmark or the gold standard you know kind of a hallmark for cystic fibrosis is elevated sweat chloride levels elevated sweat chloride levels more than how much anyone with the unit can you please tell me very fast fast uh, 30 so not 30 19 minutes give me your best positive vibes and that's it yeah more than 60 milliequivalents per liter this more than 60 milli equal the unit is really important more than 60 milliequivalents per liter uh sweat chloride levels is the cutoff of the hallmark for cystic fibrosis and what is the medical drug of choice of cystic fibrosis anyone medical treatment one drug remember i remember do you remember well, tell me fast samir osama swaraj anyone exactly the medical drug of have you heard should i tell or you know it 
Have you heard of Ivaka Avtor? Ivaka Avtor. Yes, I remember. Do you remember? Yes or no? Ivaka Avtor. Yes. Kon bol raha? Pallavi. Pallavi. Awesome. Pallavi. Very good. That medical management of the cystic fibrosis. One drug is Ivaka Avtor. These all are, these all are exam questions. Yes. So yes. Can we have a quick revision? What are we studying tonight? We are studying GERD. What all point I should know? Number one, the most. See, we are studying gastro. Gastro means stomach. Gastroesophagus, gastroesophageal reflux disease, right? So the most common esophageal disorder is GERD, number one. Number two, uh, is it normal in children? Yes, sir. R roughly around 50% babies, they regurgitate at least once per day. So it's kind of normal. If the mother comes to me and say, then, uh, then the management will be conservative because it's almost normal sometimes. Then also be understood who is at risk of developing obese people. Uh, any congenital malformations, preterm babies, cystic fibrosis patient, and also the child with cerebral palsy. What do you think? Children with cerebral palsy will have increased chances of cystic of uh, GRD or decreased chances. Which is what do you think? Option number A is right or option number B is right? Srujana, Panchal, Swaraj, or Sama, Pallavi. Yes, Samir. What do you think, bro? Yes. So children with CP, cerebral palsy, like a spastic, like a tight body, a scissoring gait and all that, do you remember? Which is the most commonest type of CP? Spastic CP, the scissoring wala is the most commonest type. Yeah, so children with C, it's a very light topic. Take it in a very light way. Relax, relax your brains. Take deep breaths, right? so yes, exactly. So yeah, so just relax yourself and talk to me. Children with cystic, with the uh, children who have cerebral palsy, will they have increased chances of uh, what you call the cystic fibrosis or decreased chances? They will have increased chances. Why they will have increased chances of cere uh, GRD or in an occasion of what uh, this one? Uh, this one because why? Because usually the cp patient cerebral palsy patient usually they are intellectual disabilities there right they are they are not they, are, they will have global developmental delay right so those babies are usually mostly in the supine position and anyone who is in too much of supine position can definitely regurgitate very common sense it is and also there is a lower pressure of the lower esophageal sphincter so in general the take home message is can the babies of uh, cerebral palsy can have more GRD or less GRD? They will have a very high chance of GRD. Why? Because someone who is too much in supine position can definitely have a regurgitation. That is why if anyone suffering from GRD should have at least head and elevation. Can I write this point head and elevation till 30 degree because to, to kind of uh, you know prevent GRD? Do you remember in KMC also in kangaroo mother care, the mother also should have a head and when she's feeding the child or when she has the baby in the kangaroo positioning, her, her she should be a little semi reclining. Yes or no? There was a question there. Why the mother cannot be in total supine and nicely do a KMC? The, to prevent GRD, the baby can have a GRD. So little on the 30 degree would be would sound better. Has everyone understood this much? Tell me very clearly. Yes or no? Mm, yes, yes. You can give a nice heart or a black heart or a blue heart. Samaj me aare? Chhiye nahi samaj me aara to beta ghar ke ghar pe aake samjaunga. Okay, great, very cute, nice. Yes. So, what are the clinical features? Please tell me. I am a five-year-old boy. I am having this problem. Which problem? I am having gastroesophageal reflux disease. So, what problem will I have? Hemal, Swaraj, what do you think? Like, let's discuss about it. Now, don't cram stuff. Just talk to me because you have the answers. That's why. Sanjeev, Rujna, Pragya, haan, Dil, De Diya. Dil, De Diya. Oh, Ganam Jata Hai. Haan, Chik. Class Chal Riya. My mom is, my mom is asking class hai. As if there is no class. Like, am I talking too casual? And my mom is like, is class Chal Riya. Man ka nahi nahi baate kar rahe. Video call chal raha hai dosto ke saath. Skype pe. Hmm, okay. Yes. Will the patient can, will I have regurgitation of feed? Yes, I will have. Will I have, so, so much I am vomiting, vomiting, vomiting. Will I have that my child is not gaining weight and not gaining height? 
definitely uh, i will have this problem will i have a ooh, will i have a problem of heartburn yes or no um this is a question we ask you know like uh, uh, this one that uh, to the patient to the elder little uh, kind of a adolescent patient do you feel a sensation of heartburn yes doctor i feel sometimes <laughs> yeah mohsin says sir you made pediatrics so much fun yes yes buddy that's our only goal because you guys are really uh, you know you have so much work to do you have so many subjects to learn understand and this and that so much hard work you guys are doing that's why i'm trying my best to make pediatrics the make the topics with on the very lighter zone not like a stress zone okay perfect so yes will i have hematemesis yes or no will i have hematemesis what is hematemesis and what is hemoptysis i love asking clinical questions i love clinical postings also mbbs students so they're like oh you are in service there what will happen so i'm like if you don't answer then i will put five days absent come answer like that <laughs> So what do you think? Am I? What do you think? What do you think? Am I a very strict teacher in the postings, or am 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 I a very cool teacher? What do you think? What do you guess? You only guess. Am I a very strict teacher in the pediatric postings in our hospital, or am I am a very cool, chilled out one? What What do you think? You can put an answer in the comment section. Yes. So a cuff, you know, hematitis is nothing but so yeah. So blood in the vomiting blood while coughing is hematitis and blood while vomiting so is nothing but hematemesis <coughs> like coughing and i'm vomiting out uh, putting out blood is hematitis and blood in vomiting is hematemesis you know that exactly beautiful answer by pragya that's right so <laughs> okay osama says strict uh, ashila says uh, strict ravina says strict okay uh, panchal says cool and uh, mohsin says cool Still is equal, even distribution. Let's see. I don't know. You can ask the students. Okay, and that's what. Let's revise. Let's focus, focus, focus. I'm having GRD gastro, esophageal reflux disease. I will have regurgitation of feed. I will have so much vomiting. I'll be having so I uh, my child. I'll, I'll be having not able to gain weight, not able to gain height because so much I'm vomiting. My growth is not. My growth is getting hampered. Right? Yes. I'm feeling heartburn, hematemesis. I can have dysphagia or dinophagia. What is dysphagia? What is or dinophagia? Can you please tell me? yes or dinophagia is pain you know that i right? should i tell you or you know it so difficulty in swallowing difficulty in swallowing is dysphagia and painful 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 swelling is or dinophagia difficult difficulty in swallowing is dysphagia painful swallowing is or dinophagia yes and also i will have this sound let's hear this sound thank okay. you yes what is the sound very beautiful picture can you please tell me what is this sound such a beautiful clinical video this is nothing but something known as strider so strider is a what is strider yes it is a abnormal where every single word carries like it's like a million dollar word it's a abnormal it's a inspiratory baby is doing like <clears throat> So, so much I'm having gastroesophageal reflux, things are going in my trachea and I'm vomiting and this and that. So, I'm having this kind of a retching and also I'm having this strider. It's an abnormal, it's an inspiratory. Is it a low pitch or a high pitch? It is a low pitch sound. It's a low pitch. Okay. It's like this. <laughs> So it's an abnormal, inspiratory, low pitch sound, which basically increases on feeding, or you can say when the baby cries or baby gets agitated, that's it. Got it gets increased. So can I get strider in a patient of uh, GRD? Yes, you can get strider. Photographic memory, please, bro. Remember, and strider is it a is it a upper airway problem or a lower airway problem? Is it a upper respiratory tract problem or a lower respiratory tract problem? Is is strider involves like because of some problem the nasal cavity? Pharynx or larynx or trachea or in the bronchial tree so yes everyone knows it is an upper respiratory tract problem it is not a lower respiratory tract problem okay high pitch kaisa hota dekho high pitch high pitch hota hai matlab jaise so low pitch ho gaya aaye mujhe hi ho jayega strider lagta hai so wo jo maine aakhri mein kiya tha wo thoda high pitch tha theek hai Hmm. That's it. So this part is over. It is the upper respiratory tract problem. This part is over. And yeah, the baby can have wheeze, strider, cuff, all this drama the baby definitely can have. Did you understand exactly? Hanji, exactly. Yeah. 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 Yes, Himal, buddy, you're right. And oh, yeah, very nice question. What is the syndrome? 
what is the syndrome associated with gastroesophageal reflux disease gastro esophageal reflux the baby is having vomiting retching hematemesis dysphagia or dinophagia strider and all these problems so what will happen this baby will kind of kind of go into kind of arcing of the back photographing memory everyone hello we all are one family my duty to transmit my beautiful vibes to you and beautiful knowledge so this my knowledge says this picture is really important so please allow your eyes to capture this inside your eyes and brain forever this is arcing arcing of the what do you call of the back the because so much the baby is in painful diff, this the problem the baby will have a arcing of back and kind of a spasm like a tight spasm dystonia the baby will have this of course osama is right beautifully this baby is having opisthotonus posturing and this beautifully you see in sandy fur sandy fur sandy fur sandy fur syndrome remember okay sandy fur syndrome so sandy fur syndrome is kind of a complication or i would say one syndrome which is associated with GERD is nothing but Sandy Fur syndrome. Kya hota hai sir? Kya hai sir? Usme? What is there in that Sandy Fur syndrome, sir? Bro, so much of patients having vomiting, hematemesis, dysphagia, or dinophagia, strider. So the baby is kind of going into a into a spasm, an arcing of a back and a spasmic dystonia with opistotonus posturing, nothing but known as Sandy Fur syndrome. So very important PG entrance question for the FMGs and for INICT and UPSC exams also. That Sandy Fur syndrome is associated. Sandy hmm. Fert syndrome is associated with GERD. Remember that. Okay, perfect. Okay, oh, that's a good question. Where else you see this, uh, what you called uh, this opisthotonus posturing? Can you please tell me? Osama ne usdin bataya tha, bro. Osama, what do you think, bro? Or kaha milta hai? Where else you see this opisthotonus positioning? Exactly. Tetanus is the right answer. Strychnine poisoning is the right answer. Tetanus is very much right. Beautiful. Right answer. Very true. Okay. How do you investigate? Beautiful answer. Seven more minutes, then this class is over. The second half of this I will take at the 11 p.m. And I will take some important milestones also tonight at 11 p.m. Because everyone was requesting milestone. So we will do milestones also at 11 p.m. Hmm. Yeah. So, okay, Pragya says GERD is only cause of Sandy Fur syndrome. Yes, yes, Pragya, because the book says basically that Sandy Fur syndrome is associated with the cases of GERD. So, that way we have to connect it. Achha, I have a question. Wait, wait. I want to ask more questions. Sandy Fur, so, okay, I'll, I'll ask you four. Five, should I ask you four questions or should I ask you five questions? Okay, okay, I will ask you six questions. Sandy Fur syndrome, kya likha isne? Kuchla, Krishnin, Trichos, Nux, Vomica also. Okay, nice. My question is Sandy Fur syndrome is associated with GRD. Everyone knows about it. Uh, bronze baby syndrome. Bronze baby syndrome is associated with what? I, I, I love asking integrated questions. Yes, okay. Mm, uh, sir had uh, dinner, sir, continuous classes. No, dear, I will, I'm going to have dinner now. I will have dinner at 10 p.m. Then I will go and uh, with my doggy to make him roam outside at 10.30 p.m. And 11 p.m. we're going to have a class again tonight. Okay. Yes. So bronze baby syndrome is a side effect of phototherapy. The side effect of phototherapy is bronze baby syndrome. Where do you see blue baby syndrome? Where do you see gray baby syndrome? And where do you see red man syndrome? Can anyone please tell me? What do you think? What do you think? Copper, copper everywhere. Kya? Cop idhar aaja, idhar aaja. Copper, copper. Aao, beta, aao. Aao. Mar khane ke liye aajao. Dr. Sama, aaye. Nice. Copper, copper, copper everywhere. Copper, copper everywhere. Kaun se syndrome ki baat ho rahi hai sir yahan pe? Dr. Sama, tu aaja yahan pe. Mar khale ka mere se aaja. Aaja, aaja, aaja. Copper, copper everywhere is seen in which syndrome? Not syndrome, it is seen in Wilson disease. Yes or no? Am I right? Menke disease and Wilson disease. That was copper, copper everywhere, right? Very good, but I'm happy you're trying. Okay, let's revise again. Sandifer syndrome is associated with the kya bolte usko? GRD. Bronze baby syndrome is a side effect of phototherapy. Blue baby syndrome is a side effect of amiodaron drug, right? Amiodaron, am I right or wrong? Exactly, amiodaron drug is the right answer. Gray baby syndrome is because of chloramphenicol. 
ग्रे बेबी सिंड्रोम इज बिकॉज ऑफ बिकॉज ऑफ यस ग्रे बेबी सिंड्रोम इज बिकॉज ऑफ क्लोराम फेनिकोल यू नो ड्रग ओवर डोज एंड रेड मैन सिंड्रोम वो विल टेल मी रेड मैन रेड मैन तो बहुत पुराना क्वेश्चन है रेड मैन सिंड्रोम इज अ साइड इफेक्ट ऑफ बैंकोमाइसिन सो रेड मैन सिंड्रोम इज अ साइड इफेक्ट ऑफ बैंकोमाइसिन ग्रे बेबी सिंड्रोम इज अ साइड इफेक्ट ऑफ क्लोराम फेनिकोल ब्लू बेबी इज बिकॉज ऑफ अमायोडेरॉन एंड ब्राउन्स बेबी इज अ साइड इफेक्ट ऑफ बोटो थेरेपी यस दैट्स राइट परफेक्ट आंसर ओके सो या सेवन थ्री मोर मिनट्स देन दिस क्लास इज ओवर परफेक्ट ओके ये हो गया हाँ दिस इज वेरी गुड क्वेश्चन वेरी गुड क्वेश्चन नाउ टेल मी थिंक ओके ब्रो प्लीज Think positively. G R D. I am having gastroesophageal. Just five minutes more. Gastroesophageal reflux disease. Okay. How will you investigate? What do you want to do? Endoscopy? Test X-ray? No, no, no. Ultrasound. You want to do enema? You want to do uh, lower GI? You. What do you want to do? What should I do for this? Doctor, I am having dysphagia or dinophagia. Little hematemesis with little little reflux and heartburn problems, sir. So, uh, stridor also. <coughs> I am having this also. So Praga Khare, hmm, nice answer, very good, good quality answers. People have very important PG entrance question. What is the gold standard? What is the gold standard investigation of choice in a case of uh, uh, what we called uh, gastroesophageal reflux disease? What do you think? The answer is, and do you want? Should I get an endoscopy, doctor? I am having this heartburn. Or do you want to do my twenty-four hours pH recording? Or you want to do my esophageal manometry? Beautiful. Yes, the best answer will be you will do. So it's very nice question. Okay, you will do my twenty-four hours. recording of my ph okay because i'm having too much of reflux no my stomach is very acidic yaar i don't know too much of reflux i have okay so this is a very beautiful picture listen okay 4 pm 8 pm 12 am 4 am 8 am 12 pm total like 12 hours and 24 hours whenever i am having food i you will see my ph how much it is going how much it is going what is the ph of stomach can anyone please tell me i don't know is the stomach ph is very basic or the stomach ph is very acidic so yes of course the stomach ph is very high if you put your finger inside the stomach you will burn your finger that much acidic ph 2 3 the stomach ph is very acidic okay yes so this is normal okay you will check my ph whenever i am having food just to check that how much of my scl is getting secreted and this and that in a case of gerd can we appreciate this part this 24 hours esophageal ph study the upper panel shows a normal study whereas lower panel shows frequent episodes of acidic reflux with the ph dropping less than 4 this is ph can we read that 4 3 2 2 can we see too much of ph is going down can we see that yes or no i'm trying my best to make you, you know kind of like total incorporated inside the video we are like lord buddha we will sit inside the video in the in the inside the what you call program and the topic and we will learn everything possible 24 360 3d three dimensional picture i want you to get it perfect and yes so what can i have this could be a very nice image based question okay this could be a very nice image based question the examiner will show you only this picture and he will tell you what is this happening so you will see okay the baby is having food 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 and uh, this stomach the ph the ph of the stomach is going 4 3 very less very less so this is nothing but the lower panel showing the frequent episodes of acidic reflux with a drop of ph less than 4 suggestive of suggestive of gerd suggestive of gerd very very important we must no are you understanding i hope everyone is kind of getting the whole part yes exactly okay okay let's open yeah perfect perfecto so that finishes the first half of the class i hope you have understood the class is exactly 10 pm and i will not take more than 30 minutes because i want you guys to relax your mind and before leaving this amazing uh, what you called uh, unacademy need pg channel uh, most importantly i hope you guys have given this april 17 which was the mock test was there two days back i hope you all have given that and also on the april 18th to april 24 we have this beautiful test okay anatomy biochemistry anesthesia 10 pm every night with the dates i want you guys to give as many tests as possible usually the tests are locked and they are free of cost you have to write dr anand and open the test and just give it that's it 
also at the same time in the un academy we have something known as plus subscription and something known as iconic subscription in the plus subscription amazing access to our live and recorded classes the educators are really good the test is of good quality and you can watch me on your ios laptop android devices the plus subscription in the iconic subscription you get the un academy platform and the prep ladder subscription the clinical notes question bank treasure notes dream notes live test and all that is amazing and also i remember as everyone knows for the newcomers we have an academy light an academy light for the neat pg where we have we have grand test lot of grand tests we have with previous year question papers it's good if you guys give it also for the mbbs first year students pertaining to the next exam we have this batch starting from april 20th april 20th from tomorrow there's a duration the price the pre-launch price and you have to enroll if you want you can happily enroll it and to every day i'm trying my best to make dpp what is dpp dp of my whatsapp no this is daily practice paper daily practice papers i want you guys to finish it i'm tr trying to send every day on the app on the unacademy sessions doubt clarification batch is already going rocks uh april 6 to may 6 we have this amazing doubt clarification batch for the inicg need pg and fmg and congratulations to the amazing toppers and people who work hard deserve this podium and i want osama and you all people pragya surjana osama and amazing swaraj and amazing people like pan cake and the lost to have this rock the stage and if you're new to an academy channel please download the an academy app where we have this amazing segments of uh, you know you can ask me any doubt you get the pdf note of the lectures the in classes are very very amazing my classes are really good so we have i told you regarding the neat pg revision batch april 20th exactly for one month with these amazing faculties we have here and also mbbs first year foundation batch i have told you very beautifully and that's it boost your medical pg prep april 18th to april 20 we have this amazing offer going on so whenever if you're free and comfortable please subscribe that's it so plus oh, sub subscription over iconic subscription over and the light subscription is over that finishes this half 30 minute session thank you so much everyone tonight one second tonight we're gonna start like again at 11 pm i want you guys to come at 11 pm let's finish this topic let's finish this happy topic of gerd uh, where we in the second half we're gonna cover it beautifully and some amazing questions of milestones and if you don't answer then you see i will meet you outside okay not no no offense messages here i will meet you outside answer everything properly at 11 pm with the milestones because it's important topic that's why uh, <laughs> yes yes T thank you dr ekta thank you so much everyone have a wonderful evening ahead and please take care see you after one hour at 11 pm okay take care of yourself bye 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 one second let me just go back yes please take